welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be making a, another practical project. It is a uh, picture frame. This project is not very complicated, and it uses all. We won't be learning any more tools, so it's not necessary to watch this video. And just like the face we made in the previous video, this picture frame is highly customizable. You can do a variety of methods to get similar process done, and you can basically make your picture frame look however you like. So instead of using the top plane like we usually do, we're going to start off with the front plane. So I'm going to press View Normal 2, press New Sketch, and we're going to start off with the center point rectangle. If you hover over the rectangle and it's not already on center point, then press the arrow and make sure it's on that one. For most of you, it'll probably be set on corner rectangle, but center point, change it to that one. Or you can just press the R key. Okay, so we're going to click on the origin. I'm going to make a, I believe it's called the portrait land, uh, portrait mode, or portrait side uh, picture frame but you can make it a landscape and it's the same process. So I'm going to make one rectangle then the second one will be the frame. This inner rectangle will be the same size of your picture so make sure you measure the size of your picture before you fit it. This project unfortunately doesn't have an easy way to remove it and stuff so if you ever do print this out, you will probably have to tape or glue your photo directly on this plate until we go on and learn different methods to make this work properly. So the frame is done. So I have two rectangles. I'm going to click on the inner one, extrude, and I'm only going to extrude it 0.1 inches. Then unhide sketch one and extrude that one for 0.4 inches. It really depends on how big you want your frame to be since mine is pretty small. It's like 2 inches by 2 inches or like 2 by 5 inches or something. Um, it wouldn't make sense for the frame to depth to be that large. So this is what it looks like. This is the frame. Uh, we'll get to the stand in a minute, but the picture frame by itself looks kind of boring. You could do a variety of methods uh, to make it look more interesting. I'll be showing out off two of them. One of them is the chamfer method, where I click on this side and it makes it look all rectangular. This is the traditional how traditional frames look like usually nowadays. The other method, I could always round it and let's see how that looks. That also looks pretty cool. Both methods are very interesting. If you wanted to keep it more plain you could always just select the sides and press the button that says chamfer and select just these very small edges. and you can get something like that. I prefer the first method I showed, the chamfer on this side. Looks pretty cool. Now that we got the frame done, we go on to the last step being the stand. So we're going to use the view box here and press the right plane or left one, doesn't really matter. But then you want to press new sketch And again, we didn't learn the method yet to make it so it would be able to rotate. So whatever angle you choose will be the one it sees at. Luckily, this picture frame is made out of plastic. It's pretty light, so you don't have to worry too much about it falling over if it's not a steep enough angle. And again, it depends on your portrait. if your picture is landscape or portrait. Um, 
Use it for portrait mode. Pic or I prefer picture frames that are pretty flat up. So that's what I'm going to be demonstrating. But you can play around with the angles. And you will have pretty much an idea in your head of how it will look. So I'm going to click on the origin again. And I'm going to be drawing out a line. Obviously, you don't want this line to be longer than the picture frame, um, or going down further. It has to be like equal distance or less. If it's equal distance, then or uh, same height as the bottom of the frame, that means the frame will be sitting straight up. Anything less, and it'll be slanted backwards slightly. So I'm going to do it only slightly less than. Uh, the height, something that looks like this. Then I'm going to draw a second eight, uh, thing that's parallel to the ground again, like that. Then this next line will be parallel to the one showing as orange here, up to the frame. And lastly, connecting the original dot. Finally, our last step, select this uh, um, line, a box or shape, extrude. I'm going to press this view box to rotate it backwards. And normally, we just have it extrude as one in one direction, just like this. But that'll look kind of strange if you look at the back, and it'll be unbalanced. So, instead, you click on the button that says, instead of blind, or, sorry, you press on the button that says symmetric. So, when you pull on it, it extrudes on both sides equally. Now we got a picture frame. I actually believe I made a mistake here. Um, this line here should not be parallel to the ground. It should actually be perpendicular to this line here. So to rectify that, I will simply just try to edit the sketch by pressing Edit Sketch 2 and see if it lets me move it. It does not let me move it the way I want it to. So unfortunately I think I will have to undo this shape because it's just the easiest thing for me. So I'm going to just click on this, press delete, press delete, and redraw it so it's perpendicular. And you'll see that perpendicular symbol pop up. And there we go. That's the end of this video. Now we have a pretty cool picture frame. You can print it out and use it. See you guys next time.